is your night of encounter. Yes! Your night, this night, is a night of encounter. Glory! Give a mother glory cause he bought it for me. Yeah, yeah, we did but never leave me lonely. His love and his mercy get his grace. This is living why I have a taste. Advertise campaign for the king, he's the truth and the light in the way, yada da da me. Hallelujah, holla holla holla. The God I serve is bigger than your mighty dollar. Keep my peace on bother. Gotta stay focused on my good, good father. There was healing in his wings through the power of Christ. I could do all things. Feel the atmosphere, Holy Spirit here. Your love is always near, I don't have to fear. Break every chain, erasing the shame, there is grace in his name. Dynamite, don't miss, to your teeth. Dynam, dynam, dynamite, don't miss, to your teeth. Your presence, there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit, come and fill us up. Dynamite, don't miss, to your teeth. Dynam, dynam, dynamite, don't miss, to your teeth. Your presence, there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit, come and fill us up. Walking the epitome of liberty is resurrecting power, man, and living me. He took away the limits, gave me eagle wings, so above all these evil things. Cause even when I strayed and I slipped, he forgave my behavior that was sick. Even though this life has been a trip, permanently praise on my lips. His love is in and overflowing. Rest for the weary, keep going. He make everything brand new, trust the way that he do when his better plans too. I gave him masters in return, he gave me beauty. So he gives my strength when I'm moody. Let the weak say I'm strong cause it's power He making the hero out of cowards 
dynamite, don't miss. Ting your teeth, got him, got him, dynamite, don't miss. Ting your teeth. Your presence there is nothing but the love. Holy Spirit, come and fill it. Jesus, take the wheel. It's my new generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama T, she got that dunamis, that power. You not used to this, unbothered by your foolishness. The favor of God giving out poor. The asking is she giving out more. But baby, it runs in the family. Solid foundation, the house always standing. She be casting out demons and healing the sick. Taking these souls like she's hitting a lick. Heavy discernment, so none of your tricks will fly. She hops in her office and prophesy. Read the word of truth, open up your eyes. Prophet TNT, breaking soul ties. She be in God's presence like her name's Elijah. Walking in blessings and miracles. Free every way like Imperial. Got it, but not by material. Spirit on point like some leather interior holy Same. ghost fire that rises to the ceiling move when god say so spiritually deep like his case so making a way where there's no way that's case closed you can get it if you stay close she's so on the seats like a payphone tnt do to miss power tnt do to miss power standing god's presence all hours tearing and tarpon tearing and tarpon tnt do to miss power tnt do to miss power standing god's presence all hours tearing and tarpon tearing and tarpon tnt do to miss power tnt do to miss power standing god's presence all hours tearing and tarpon tearing and tarpon one seed you sow can bring you overflow Start to tell you things that only God can know Do it for the kingdom, it's not for show Raise the dead with the breath of life If you thirst and hunger, quit your appetite Cover your wrong only in the right Fast and pray that of sacrifice Glorify God, you can't change her demeanor She dressed in his glory, can't get any cleaner His majesty show and you think it's on top How his spirit be flowing The angels be giving out gold dust Really be fresher than cold cuts They hate and excuse me, you don't even know what's Put on this earth, just a ruling rank Get up and walk if you tired and lame This a place to take you to the sovereign king He'll run and get you with a sick Y'all yeah. can never stop this, it's a holy team. Y'all can yes. never stop this, it's a holy team. TNT do to miss power, TNT do to miss power. Standing God's presence all hours, tearing and tarpon, tearing and tarpon. TNT do to miss power, TNT do to miss power. Standing God's presence all hours, tearing and tarpon, tearing and tarpon. We unlock you. We got the keys to the kingdom of heaven. We unlocking people right now in the mighty name of Jesus, showing you who you are, who you are, and what you're called to do. Glory to God. That's that dunamis power, that Strong's number 1411. That dunamis power, the miracle working power and ability of God, delegated authority given to you by God to do great and mighty exploits. You know whose you are? Huh. You can't come to the kingdom of God and just lay down to the enemy. He bows down to you. You gotta use this power to what? To set the captives free, to bind up the brokenhearted, to heal the sick, to raise the dead. Do what you gotta do. God is giving you his gifts. He's giving you the spirit. He's giving you his fruit. He's giving you everything. Just receive it and begin to walk in it. That's that dunamis power. Ha! Yeah. Didn't even know my name was TNT. Didn't know it was connected to the dunamis power of God. Luke 10, 19 is giving you power and authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm you. Yeah. Hello, hello. Welcome everyone to our Wednesday leadership training class today. My name is Minister Desiree. So happy to see all of you guys tonight. Good evening, um, sister. God bless good you. Good evening. God bless you. God bless you. Bless We're so excited. God bless tonight. you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you guys. Um, we have a wonderful special guest tonight, but before I definitely do that, let me give honor to Prophetess Taryn, Mama T. I love you, Mama. I thank you for this opportunity to be able to host tonight, and um, I honor you. Um, we all know that she's traveling, and uh, she's in Maryland, and you know we know that she's with our grandpa, Grandpapa, <laughs> and so it's just she's she's doing big things, and so I'm just honored that I would be. Uh, able to stand here and be able to host tonight, you guys. So before we go ahead and go any further, let me know where you guys are calling in from. Um, I have some on YouTube that I can look at here. And then uh, let me check the chat here on Zoom. And as usual, it's coming in very quickly here. Uh, we have, let me just double check this real quick. Not okay. To distract you, sister, but you really do look so beautiful this evening. No, oh, thank you, Michelle. You're sweet. <laughs> You're always so sweet. Thank you, Michelle. So we have um, 
Let me see. Okay, so we have uh, Pastor Emily from Corvallis, Oregon. We have Deja from Livermore. We have John Elias from Hollywood. We have Michelle from Livermore. Uh, we have Michela from Sanford, Florida. We have Shaniqua from New Jersey. We have Miss LaShawn from Inglewood. Inglewood. <laughs> we have Keegan from Rochester, New, New York. Uh, we have, let me see, we have Bridget from Los Angeles, Becky from Ontario. We have Laron from Virginia, Elizabeth from Sanford, Connecticut, Miss Gigi, <laughs> Gina from West Hollywood, and my Taj Taj from LA. We have Hillary from Denton, Texas, and Lisa from Kansas City. We, whoo, we are all over the globe, right? Uh, Janita from Virginia Beach. Um, and we have uh, Miss Delaware from Delaware, <laughs> Miss Olivia. Uh, we have Christine from San Jose. Um, and so let me check a little bit on YouTube. YouTube, we have Tawana from Eastvale, California. We have uh, Rashida from Bronx, New York. We have Roosevelt from Florida. We have uh, Ashley from Santa Clarita. Uh, we have Carolyn from Long Beach. Uh, we have Kishan from Nebraska. Woo, we have all over the place, Florida, uh, South Carolina, and it's coming in and coming in. So thank you guys. We are all over the globe. And we are just, you guys know here at Lifeline TNT, we are a global ministry, an international ministry. Um, so if you want to connect with us, go to lifelinetnt.org. Make sure you register. You want to join us on Zoom. Go online right now. Go to lifelinetnt.org and get that Zoom link so that you can join us. It's going to be a powerful night tonight. Um, so the guest speaker that we have tonight, um, He's not new to us. He's part of the family. And we're always so honored that he can join us. Um, he's a well, world-known author. Uh, he is a uh, international speaker. Um, he is a, a stage four cancer survivor. So he's a walking miracle. And we're just so honored to have him. He's an author. He's written 13 books. And his last book that he just wrote was Relationship Rules. So if you haven't gotten his book, I just was realizing tonight I have quite a few of his books. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I actually, you know, I have a few of his books here. I got to get through all these books, but they're, they're easy. They're definitely easy read. Uh, you definitely can apply what, what he teaches us. And so I'm just so honored to be able to uh, introduce him tonight to you guys. So Dr. Eddie Connor, are you online with us right now? Hello, hello. Dr. Eddie, are you here? Okay, I guess we're having some technical difficulties right now. So let's just go ahead and let's check on this right now. Well, what we can do, let's go ahead and until we, he's available on camera right now. That I will go ahead and continue talking. So today we had our 6 a.m. Bible study and uh, it was a powerful time with Prophetess Taryn. And um, I, I just, every time she comes with the word, it's just, you're so enlightened. And there's so much that we get out of the word that she gives us every time. Um, and if you are connected with that, if you are not going back and watching those on YouTube, I'm telling you, you're missing out. That definitely is something that you need to do. Um, connect with us at lifelinetnt.org. Also, you can actually join our WhatsApp group. In our WhatsApp group, there's teachings that are done. Um, she, you, where you get your notifications for different events that are happening. Uh, we have a monthly men's meeting that happens once a month. Uh, we have a relentless kids that we do once a month. And so it's just, you have to be involved with this ministry. This is a, a fast moving ministry. We're not one of those ministries Amen. where we sit back and do nothing. We, we, we are reaching souls, okay? That's what we're known for. We reach souls. So the, the let, your, let your timeline be someone's lifeline. Like if you're not doing that right now and sharing and subscribing to our YouTube channel and getting people to be connected today, then you're not doing what we what we all do every single day. We make our timelines our lifeline. So make sure that you are doing that and uh, invite a friend. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna play some music for a couple of moments here, and I'm gonna give you an opportunity to share this with about another another. Um, I, let's say like I'll give you like 
like five minutes. We're going to give you five minutes and go ahead and take a moment, share this with 10 more people because we want to get the numbers up tonight because we know this is going to be a powerful word tonight. So um, let's get going. Share, share, share. Woo! Socks. Hopping up the rain so you know what's up We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life Get it bestie, get it bestie Get it bestie, get it bestie Get it, get it Jesus get it, will. get it, 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 That's my bestie, uh, and we already been through the testing Walking in his favor, we been spiritually investing Looking like we Barbies, we be on the best teams They been getting honor, we been with the best kings You told me you're my husband, but I know you're guessing <laughs> We still be guilt free, we still be on top They have been praying so hard, but we're never gonna drop And we ain't new to this, said it all before We unbothered by your foolishness How can I feel bad, you hating, you still mad I've been with Jesus, just enjoying my new pad How could I be bitter, God annoyed in my do rag How could I be cussing, just not caring to do that My bestie has power from God My bestie just blessed the whole squad My bestie just spoke and an angel just shot They try to curse us and they spirit got rocked they try to hurt us and our faith had it blocked We stay walking in excellence, never worry about a setback You said we can't do it, that ain't God, I can't accept that Walking in a hobbit, if you don't, then take a step back You are not popping if you don't have haters They keep on talking, can't hear the naysayers We bringing answers to all of your prayers Good versus evil, we thought you would slay us They find them, but we stay on top Work, 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 get yeah, the crown don't stop Cross around my neck and it don't come off on a private jet, living life like a boss We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life Get it bestie, get it bestie Get it bestie, get it bestie Okay, everybody, hopefully you guys were able to share that with about another 10 people. Uh, we definitely want to reach people for Christ. We definitely want to get the word out because this is a ministry that has totally blessed us. Um, what I was feeling led to do right now is to kind of give you guys a little bit of a testimony. I've been with Mama T probably about, ah, gosh, it's been probably, it's going on two years now, I believe. Um, and you know what? Ever since I got connected with this ministry, my life has totally just propelled up you know it is just shot up and I know a lot of you guys probably have that same testimony but it's like when I when I first met her I met her I met her at an encounter okay it was at an encounter and believe me I if you guys have ever gone to your first encounter it's different right <laughs> it's totally different so I was witnessing yes. things that I had never saw before and so um and ever since that time it's like once once that happened for me I knew right away I, I, I got to be a part of this ministry. And then like a few months later, I got connected and I start working on the admin team. And it was like, and I've been connected ever since. Mama T has totally blessed my life tremendously. I can't even, 
say all the things that she's done, but I mean, all the deliverances that I've had, and I've had multiple, <laughs> for those of you who have been in the room, I have had multiple deliverances and I'm still being lit, delivered every day, you know, and, and just being reminded of who God says I am and who I'm supposed to be. For me to even be able to host this is a testimony right there. You know, I, 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 I never thought. I never would have thought I would be hosting. I never would have thought that I would be before you guys. And so God is so good. He's faithful. He's loving. Oh, and his mercy and his grace. I just, I love him dearly. And Mama T is, is, whoo, she, she just has a part of my heart that, you know, no one else can, can take because uh, she has totally just transform my life and every day just her example and her diligence and her just commitment and love and oh the heart that she has for souls it's it's whew, I, I, can't, I can't even find the words I know Dr. Connor has the words but I, I can't find the words uh, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of my testimony um, with that and just you know just just be open you, just, and know that it's not where you're at today it's that you're not the same as you were yesterday but you're different today, you know, and just keep striving because there is different um, stages of this in your journey. And don't be discouraged because you there's points of it that you have to go through, whether it's to learn something, whether it's to grow your capacity, whether it's to um, dig into that word, whatever it is and whatever stage that you're at, just know that God is with you and you are doing better than you were doing yesterday. And you have to just learn to be grateful for that. Be grateful for where you are today because it's not like you were yesterday, okay? So I do see Mr. Dr. Eddie Connor on the line. Uh, we're just so happy to have you, Dr. Eddie. Um, I gave a little intro, but you know, hey, I don't need to give an intro because you're part of the family. Dr. Eddie, are you on the line? That I am. How's Hello, everybody Dr. doing? Eddie. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hey. Woo. Welcome, hey, hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Good, good to see you all tonight. Um, I am grateful and glad to be able to be with you all. Listen, I'm. this is my third virtual session in, uh, what, two hours? So wow. the last two hours. So <laughs> Uh, we we on to the next one. Uh, I think I saw a couple of you all who were just on my Instagram live and we were having a conversation tonight about uh, is the black church keeping black women single? Uh, I, I didn't get into everything about it, but it was a great conversation. But needless to say, we are grateful and glad uh, for the one and only prophetess Taryn Tarver. Can we can we can we show some love to the one and only? Amen. Prophetess Taylor. Hey, Amen. Hey, we love you, Mom. Let, let her know Thank in you the chat. Hey, Mama. Woo! Love you, Mama. Love you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Love you, Mama. We love you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. We love you. Right now, that you are grateful and glad. Uh, come on, somebody just, somebody just, just brag on the gift that God has given you in the comment section. Uh, somebody. Tonight, you I know somebody got a testimony. Can we can we just do a, a quick testimony about uh from somebody can unmute their mic and share how being a part of Lifeline and TNT and connected to Prophetess Tarver has blessed them? Come on, take take can I get 30 seconds from somebody? I, I have 30 seconds. Okay. okay. Is that Gina? This, this is Gina. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. So 30 seconds to, some, to really make it very concise. I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be where I am if I did not encounter Prophetess Taryn. I've been delayed for many, many, many years, seven years to be exact. I would not have known that had I not encountered Prophetess Taryn. I would not have known that power and authority is something that I already have and that I can use it and win in life and have an easy life if I, not have, if I did not run into Prophetess Taryn. I would not know that death was following my family if I did not run into Prophetess Taryn. I would not know that a spirit of hate was on me. I would not have known that there were cyclical patterns in my life had I not run into Prophetess Taryn. I would probably still be in the ghetto if I had not run into Prophetess Prophetess Taryn. Um, I wouldn't know anything about angels if I not had, if I did not run into Prophetess Taryn. I would be being tormented by demons and witches had I not run into Prophetess Amen. Taryn and realized that they should be running from me. 
Um, I would not have the restoration that I'm experiencing. And this is just, this is not the blessing. This is just what I need. There are so many more levels for me to attain and have prosperity and tools to build business and to build wealth and to walk in favor and to be winning in life and to have joy in life. I wouldn't have any of that if I didn't run into her. And yes, that is, there's many more to my test, much more to my testimony, but that's the greatest part. If I didn't run into her, I needed to see her in order to know I could be me. If otherwise, I probably would have just been fine making great money depressed for the rest of my life had I not run into her. I needed her. I probably would have like been dead dead if I didn't run into her. So, yes. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. I need my pray. Brother. Somebody praise God for deliverance. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank Jesus. You, Thank Lord. you. And, and Amen. That's somebody else's Amen. testimony tonight. Lord. Not only for, for our sisters, but also for our brothers, too. Uh, we're grateful to God for deliverance because here it is. She is a voice of one that's crying out in the wilderness, Prophet Terran Tarver, as, as we're talking about. And, you know, sometimes what goes on in society and what goes in our life creates a space and a place for somebody's voice to be lifted. And, and if there's ever been a time where we need a voice, if there's ever been a time where we need to hear directly from God's throne, we're grateful that he sent uh, this modern day Queen Esther to be able to share a word for such a time as this. And, and uh, thank you so much, Desiree, uh, for, for holding it down, but also the alley-oop uh, to be able to go ahead and dunk tonight. My honor, um, Dr. Connie. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're ready tonight, I just need you to type ready. I just need you to type ready. If you're ready tonight, just type ready. Uh, type ready tonight. Um, and, and yes, yes. Listen, people are asking me right now, I'm, I'm trying to send them the link. They want to be a part of this conversation tonight. So uh, let me just, I'm, I'm posting this right here so people can know. Awesome. Or they can go uh, to lifelinetnt.org. Yes, yes. Lifelinetnt.org. All right. Um, let's get into it because tonight is going to be your night for change, for direction, for resurrection, because God has a word that is in store just for you. All right, listen to everything. There is a time and a season, and we are we are in a sila season, a season to to think, a season to kind of mute the noise around us so we can hear God's voice within us. And as a result of that, I think we have to be uh, pertinent enough to where our ears and our antennas are up in a spirit to be able to understand the times and the seasons of where it is that we are. Because we, we talk about leading, but a lot of us are leading while we're bleeding. And, um, but this is tonight. Tonight is the night for somebody to be set free. Tonight is the night for your gift to come out. Tonight is the night for your anointing to be turned up. I would somebody, listen, listen. I'm, Amen. I'm, Amen. Amen. Somebody said, are listen, I'm not, I'm not tired. I'm still in spot. Night is the night where your command I receive is going to be. I'm not tired. I'm still inspired. That's right. Tonight is the is the night where your prophetic gift is going to be activated. Tonight is the night for that burden that that yoke that has been I on you. It. What the Bible say? And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The, the anointing. The yoke that has been on your neck has caused your head to be down. But you're getting ready to look to the hills tonight, from where your help comes, because your help cometh from the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer tonight. Let's have a word of prayer tonight. And then we're going to get into it. Kind of gracious Father, we thank you uh, for just this opportunity to be able to come together. You said where two or three are gathered in your name, you are here in the midst. And so God, as you are here in the midst, uh, multiply us tonight. Give a word in due season. Strengthen my brother and my sister right now. Somebody has had a hung down head. Somebody came in depressed tonight but the joy of the Lord is their strength. We declare and decree that shackles will be loose. Uh, bandages will be lifted. Yokes will be destroyed. 
divine revelation and impartation will come about right now in the name of Jesus. Devil, we serve you notice. We come against every glitch. We come against every attraction, distraction of the enemy. And we loose freedom right now. We loose your spirit. We lose healing and empowerment for life changing, lifeline empowerment. And touch our prophetess tonight, wherever she may be. Give her strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Y'all family to me. Uh, if we get together more than twice, y'all family, and it ain't nothing, and it's, and it's nothing but nice for sure. Uh, Amen. So whether it's men's meeting, Amen. whether it is. Uh, whatever the conversation is, whether it's the, the leadership session like it is tonight, um, we you're gonna be inspired. I hope you got I hope you're ready tonight. I hope you're ready. Um I hope you're ready. Uh your timeline could be someone's lifeline. Somebody needs to somebody needs to invite somebody in. Listen, don't get don't get selfish tonight. Don't just get fat off the word. I need you to run this thing on over to somebody on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter. It's a number one hitter. You matter of fact, somebody on TikTok. Uh, listen, you you post all them uh, post. You posted all them photos on Tinder. Post this. How about you do that? <laughs> How about you do that too? Listen. Scripture declares in First John chapter four, verse four, says, "Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, uh, because greater." I don't know about you. I'm great. I'm grateful for a but, and I'm grateful for a because. Because greater is he that is in you. I just need you to point to yourself and say, greater is he that is within me than he that's in the world. And so tonight, I'd like to tag that text with this title, Win From Within. That's what I want to talk about tonight. How to win from within. Listen, I just believe tonight Tonight is going to tonight is your night to spread Amen. your wings and win. Tonight is your night to understand that greater is he that is within you and me than he that's in the world. You got to understand this tonight that challenges make champions. And listen, sometimes the greater the battle, the bigger the blessing. Right. Sometimes you're you're given a certain challenge and God allows you to go through a certain challenge. Simply because he wants to strengthen you. Well, God, I've been strong enough, long enough. I mean, Lord, don't I've, I've already got a Ph.D. in this. I've, I've, I'm already a scholar. I don't need to learn no more lessons and heartbreak and heartache in mess and stress. God, take listen. I'm I'm done. Enough gas, no brakes. Hit the pedal, hit the brake, cause I need a breakthrough. Just me tonight. Is it just me? Challenges make champions, and and really, hear you. going to win. It must begin from within. Hear me. If you're going to win tonight, it begins from within. Is is not in your house or your spouse or your money uh, or your credit or debit that probably still can't get it it's not in buying another dress right bro it ain't about you just being g'd up from the feet up if you're gonna win it has to begin from within and and it's a determined mind it's a determined spirit it's a determined soul that says this against all odds i will i will i shall I must have the victory. And, and it's, it's time out for woe is me, Christians. It's time out for wimpy folks. It's time out for allowing the devil to walk over your life like a doormat. Listen, I'm not no doormat. You can't step all over me. The Bible said that the righteous are bold as a lion. See, a lot of us, we, we got a lot of bark, but no bite. We, we look like lions, but we ain't got no roar. Right? How do I know you ain't got no roar? Because the enemy been knocking down at your door and you ain't pled, you, you didn't plead the blood of Jesus. Right? You, you didn't cast out the demon and the evil spirit. You didn't declare and affirm 
and say, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You got to have a relentless, resilient spirit on the inside. Amen. That says, against all odds, uh, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. By any means necessary. Amen. I will win. And here it is. You will win if you don't quit. Amen. Amen. The race is not given to the strong. The race is not given to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. Here it is. You can't spell end without endure. Check this out. You 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 got to go through something, and sometimes you got to hang in there strong enough, long enough, to where God may not necessarily change your situation, but He changes your mind. And if you change your mind. You can speak to the mountain. Speak it. Because the, the power that he released on Calvary over 2,000 years ago is still fresh, is still relevant, is still relatable, is still active, because now faith is the what? Y'all don't know the Bible. I, I preached to myself tonight. Substance of things Evidence of things not seen. I, I just want you just to type in the chat tonight. I want you to type. I want you just to type win. I don't know about you, but I feel a, I feel a wind of win. Hear me, hear me. I, I, I just speak over your life tonight that there's a wind of win. My God, blowing in your direction, Dora. There's a wind of wind blowing in your direction, Emily. There's a wind of wind that's blowing in, in your direction, John Elias. I and, it. and it's sweeping out everything that's not like God. It's sweeping out every toxic attitude and toxic relationship and stinking thinking and connection that has stifled you. There's a wind, hear me, there's a rushing mighty wind of wind blowing in your direction. I just need somebody just to raise your hands wherever you are on your screen. Wherever you are on your screen and just say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive my next level. I receive my newness of life. I receive my testimony. I receive my breakthrough. There's a wind of wind that's, that's a blowing in my direction. The wind that I win. Wind for winning. A wind of God is blowing in your direction tonight. Come on. You, you Listen, you will not be crying over the same old thing from 10 years ago, tonight the wind of to win is blowing in your direction tonight. Come on, you will not be worried about how do I make ends meet. God shall supply all of my needs Ooh, according amen. to his I riches agree. and glory. You will not be depressed over a divorce amen, tonight. You are oh, you speaking to me. I receive. And who the spirit. I receive. Amen. I where receive. Where the spirit of the Lord yeah. is, there is liberty. Come on. There's a fresh wind. There's a fresh rejuvenation that's blowing in your spirit. And God said tonight, if you latch a hold to this word, listen, listen, hear me. The next six months, woo wee, is going to be better than the last six. The, the, listen, it's, I, so receive. Somebody, I receive somebody, that. It's got to happen tonight. It's got to happen. You, you haven't just been getting hit by a pandemic. You've been getting hit by panic. You've been getting hit by worry. You've been getting hit by unbelief. You've been getting hit by financial instability. You've been getting hit by uh, children acting crazy. You've been getting hit by negativity with the spouse in the house. You've been getting hit by negative nasty. You in our house. You've been getting hit all types and sides. But God said, I want you to still be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water yeah because here glory. it is in this season you getting ready to bear fruit i was getting ready to that. bear fruit your leaf is not going with it whatsoever you I do is going to prosper that. listen yes you when you are a tree by planted by the rivers of living water hear me hear me you may bend but you're not gonna break <laughs> and, and here it is the reason i'm break. bending because i'm bowing y'all I'm, I'm preaching better than y'all saying tonight I, I'm not. Come on, no, man. 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 I'm bending because I'm bowing and saying, God, I give this up to you. God, I, you, I, I don't know how it's going to work out. But I'm, I'm handing it over you, to you. Cast your cares on him. The problem is you casting your cares on Facebook. 
You casting your cares on Instagram. You casting your cares to people who already have cares. Stop telling your problems to people with problems. 80% of them don't care. Come 20% on now. are glad you have it. Uh -oh. Let me say that twice. Come on. Oh, so nice. That part. 80 say it again, of folks yeah. don't care about your problems. Tell the truth and shame 20 the devil. 20% are glad you Hallelujah. have them. That's 100%. Right, and let me keep it 100 tonight. I've got to take my mind to the next level. Right, because if I'm not, if, I, if I'm conformed, I can't be transformed. And here it is. God wants, to, God wants to transform your mind tonight. I can't be conformed to this world. I gotta be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I gotta be transformed not by what the news says, it don't, it, don't, it don't transform me. I can't be transformed by what folks are saying about me. Listen, you can't let people's opinions become your prison. Tonight is your night to break out. Tonight is your night to break free. Listen, listen, brother, they gonna talk about you. Derek, they gonna talk about you as you release the, the sweater. They gonna talk about you with your clothing line. They gonna talk about you because of the business. They gonna talk about you because of the anointing. That's on your life, Tasha. They're going to talk about you, uh, Hillary, because you decided to make a move. But guess what? They're going to talk about you if you stand in the same place. They're going to talk about you if you don't make no move. You might as well make the move and keep on letting them talk. Because guess what? All of your enemies, all of your haters are giving you free publicity. Here it is, when they talk about Derek Certain, who he, who he think he is, he trying to think he the next Gucci, he trying to think he the next Louis Vuitton, he think he the next uh, Ralph Lauren, and if it ain't, uh, yeah, I, I wore Ralph Lauren before, uh, before I was born. I, it, 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 they gonna say whatever they wanna say about this brother, but guess what, it's free publicity because somebody gonna say, oh, he got a clothing line, let me go and check it out. He got a t-shirt and a website. I would that you would talk about me because God is lifting me up. Let them try to put their mouth on you. Hear me, God's got his hand on you. And he said, touch not my anointed and, and, and do my prophet no harm because you're gonna win from within. Come on, I, I just need somebody. I just need somebody just to tap yourself, tap yourself tonight. You've been, listen, you've been in church long enough tapping everybody else, tapping neighbors. This one is for you tonight. This one is for you. Win from within, because that's what we're talking about tonight. Listen, uh, uh, researchers suggest that, that a human brain produces as many as 12,000 to 50,000 thoughts a day. And really, depending on the depth of someone's thoughts, most of uh, the so-called random daily thoughts are really about social environment in ourselves. And the question I ask you tonight is what are you thinking about? The question I ask you tonight, what are you thinking? The question I ask you, what have you been thinking about all this week? What have you th been thinking about all this year? Because in, in the course of a given day, 75 to 80% of the thoughts that we think, hear me, in a 24 hour span, 75 to 80% of the thoughts that we think are negative. Right? Scripture said, I'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on me. Right? So a lot of us are compounded. A lot of us are oppressed, repressed, compressed, and confounded by stinking thinking. Come on, just lay your hands on your head tonight. Lay your hands on your head and say, I got the mind of Christ. What, 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 that, that's why the Bible talks about the mind. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Hear me. S too many of you have good ideas. But the question is, are they God ideas? Because the thing is, if it's just a good idea, you can do the right thing at the wrong time. Hear me, we, we, we're talking about leadership tonight. Leaders, leaders know how to not do the right thing out of season. 
I got to do the right thing at the right time. Well, God, I'm, I, I want to do this right now. I got this project. I got this book. I got this. I got that. I, I want to be married. So is it the right time? I want to move to a new house. I want a new car. Is it the right season? I don't want to be, I don't want to be ahead of God that I miss it. I don't want to be a behind him that I'm still missing it. I want to be right where he is. It, it, listen, I, I don't I don't know. Jackson 5 said, I want to be where you are. And is, can, can we spiritualize that to say, God, I just want to be right where you are to where you lead me and guide me. The steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. See, the problem is you trying to give God a tip. Well, Lord, this is how you can deliver me. This is how you can bring me out. This is how you can bless me. This is how you can send the wind of wind to quickly hit my home. Right? Listen, God is not your employee. You're his. Hear me. He don't work for you. You work for him. God is not your genie where, you know, you get three wishes and he going to grant it. And you just sailing away like Aladdin on a magic carpet ride. God don't work like that. He's not your break glass in case of fire extinguisher. God is not 911. God is 411. He gives you information, but even more than information, he gives you revelation for your situation. And, and one thing that we got to understand is that we are, we are spirit and we are mind. There is we have a spirit, we live, we have a soul, and we live in a body. There's a psychology, but there's also a theology that comes to the parameters of your spirit. But the thing is, God does not override your mind, but he respects what he placed in you as a human vessel. To where he doesn't bend your will, you have to bend to his will. Hear me, hear me. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Too many times you and I getting into a relationship expecting to change God. You ain't changing God. You got to change for God. He already told you. I'm the same yesterday, today, forever. You up and down. He's not. If you don't grow, you die. He's already evolved to his highest self. There's no more growing to do. If you're going to be in a relationship with him, you got to acquiesce to his will. It's not he does what you tell him. You do what he tells you. And tonight is the night for you to tap into another level of obedience. Hear me. O obedience is, sa is better than sacrifice. And some of us have been feeling the scorching fires of sacrifice because we hate the word obedience. Mm. Listen, listen, if you stay too long, a, another extra day in something that you have no business in, but you get out the day after that, you still disobedient because you didn't do what he told you to do when he told you to do it. And it's just his grace. Uh, hi, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like touching it tonight. It's just his grace that sustained you. In the midst of a situation. And, and hear me, I don't know who's praying for me tonight. I ought to be really tired tonight. I ought to be really tired, but I'm, I'm coming. I'm going oops upside your head tonight. Your mentality determines your reality. Based upon that, this is what you got to do. You got to think big. I just want somebody to type big. I just, I just want you to type big. Come on, come on. Hear me. If you're if you can if you can afford it is not big enough. I just I, I, let me loosen this tie up. I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling it tonight. Listen, if 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 you can afford it, you not be it, it's not big enough. Listen, if you can afford a plane, I, just give me a ride. Just I'll put a little gas in the tank. I didn't say car. I said plane. Let me make it plain. If, if you can afford a plane. You're not asking God for that's not big enough because you can afford it. You got to ask God to do. Here it is. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Above all. 
that we can ask or ah, think. I got to get my mind to the place that I think bigger than my budget. Hear me. Listen, listen, listen. God's going to bless you so good that your budget going to look like your phone number. I, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I don't, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. If, if, you can, if you can believe it, if you can believe it, he can, he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. But I can't think it until I take my mind to the next level. My dimension is greater than this situation. The problem is we maximize our bills and we minimize God. Hear me. You maximize your situation and you minimize his revelation. That's why he said, oh, magnify. Yeah, I, I, I wish I had I wish I had a lifeline church tonight in the cyber sanctuary. That's why he said, oh, magnify the Lord with me, because when I magnify him, I make him bigger than the situation. Stop telling me how big your storm is. Right. And start telling your storm how big God is. Stop telling God how big your storm is, y'all. And start telling your storm how big God is. The, the storm of of sickness. I, I, listen, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I speak to every fibroid tumor tonight. I, you will not have to have a double mastectomy. I speak to every uh, man suffering from prostate cancer and diagnosis tonight. I come against uh, uh, sickle cell anemia tonight. I come against uh, growth in the thyroid. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God said right now, I'm dissolving it. I'm dissolving it. I'm dissolving. You're going to be able to speak with clarity. You're going to be able to speak with diction. You're going to be able to, to ingest and digest your food properly. God said, I'm, I'm shrinking the growth. It, it's like a golf ball. But, but God said, I'm shrinking it tonight because the wind to win is blowing in your direction. You, you, you got to understand, I got to take my mind to the next level. Hear me. You can only ask God to do what is on the level of your thinking. <laughs> Ask, seek, knock. Ask and it shall be. See, the thing is, many of us don't even get past the ask. Because we have so many self-limiting beliefs that stop us from asking it. Right? And since we didn't ask, we didn't seek it out. Well, 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 God, since I asked, I'm seeking to where the blessing's going to come. All right, today, is today the day? Okay, if today is not the day, I'm one day closer to it, right? And then now we start knocking. Now we start getting on the phone. Now we start recognizing that our ideas become income. Our contacts can become contracts. But you got to take your mindset to the next level. You got to take your mindset to the next level right now. And, and, and begin to ask. If I can afford it, I don't need to ask for it. Hear me, hear me. I, I, might, I can just end right there. If you can afford it, no need to asking God for it. Why would I ask as a kid? Why would I ask my mama for a sandwich and it's already on my plate? Why would I ask for food that's in the refrigerator? Hmm? I got to ask something from God that only he can do. You've been asking God to do what a neighbor can bless you with. And he's saying, I'm not going to give you, I, you. You can go get that on your own. I want you to, I want you to ask me for something that nobody can get the credit or the debit for it. Only me. God and I work this out. God and I got this miracle. You can hate on me all you want to, but God blessed me. You, just keep the, you can't take the credit or the debit for this one. It's God's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. See, see the tragedy is to, to breathe light, but not to live light. You got to understand like the African proverb suggested that the, the two most important dates in your life, here it is, number one, the day that you were born 
And I know you get happy about that. You celebrate your birthday like it was a national holiday. Uh, some of y'all get turned up, but I won't look at you because I'll incriminate you. But it's not just the day that you were born. It's the day you realize why you were born. What is your why? I know what you want. I know where you want it. I know when you want to receive it. I know how you want to get it. But why? Well, Lord, bless me with a uh, bless me with a Maybach so I can sit way back. You just want to stun on your haters. God ain't finna bless that. God, God, just 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 make just give me a double R. I want a Rolls Royce. But no, I want you to be righteous and renewed. That's what I want you to have. Uh, because th th I'm not blessing you to to put it in the face of your enemy. I'm creating a table. I'm making a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And all you got to do is sit down and eat because you got a first class seat. All you got to do is sit down and eat because you got a reserved seat. And you got to understand the richest place on this planet is not your local cemetery. Or it is your local cemetery. The richest place on the planet is not Bill Gates' house and not Oprah Winfrey's house and not LeBron James' house. The richest place on the planet is your local cemetery because so many people decided not to ask God, why was I created? Hear me. God, before you even bless me with anything that I, I, see, the thing is, we want God to bless us with stuff that we don't even need. Hear me. He wants to bless you with things that that push and propel you into your purpose. You asking God for a new car when he wants to give you a plane. Mm. But but here it is. You don't know that he wants to give you a plane because you too scared to write the book. You too scared to open the business and you're going to need the plane to get from this place to the next. Listen, you want God to give you a Ford Escort and he's trying to give you a G5. Where they do that at? H hear me. We are not the same. <laughs> we, we, we are not the same, period, with a T on it. Right. You, you I, I, check yourself or you wreck yourself. You got to get to the place to where I'm so in the will of God and in tune to what he wants to where I'm not. Here it is asking a miss. <laughs> Some prayers ain't being answered because you asking a miss. It's out of alignment. I've, I've got to be in that place to where. I understand who it is that I'm asking. And when I understand that the benefactor is greater than just the blessing, the blesser is greater than just the blessing. Hear me. You have minimized God to just being a blesser. Right? But the blessing is in being connected. See, see, the thing is, we've sought God's hand, but did you seek his heart? As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul, my heart, my leb in the Greek longs after him. Right? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, see some of us as Christians, you just users. <laughs> and, and, and here it is, your relationship with, with God is reflective in your relationship with people. Because, because here it is, if your vertical is off, your horizontal ain't going to work right no way. I, I, I can't be a user. I want to be of use. Come on, come on. See, see, the problem is we, we asking people, will you use me? And guess what? I told you before, when you know what you bring to the table, you refuse to be treated like a napkin. Come on, I just need somebody to type, I'm not a napkin. You, you just can't pick me up, use me up, ball me up, part of me. I'm not your napkin and recycle me. No, 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 no. You use me, but I'm of use in the hand of God. You let everybody else use you. Why don't you give God a chance?
talking to tonight. Listen, I'm coming down your street. When I'm from your horn, in front of your house, just honk the horn. I'm going to honk the horn and let you know I'm there. Right, right, right? It, it, I got to understand that this place of where I am, I'm in this pressing, but I will not be depressed. Listen, if, if I want to speak to somebody tonight. That's, that spirit of depression is coming off you. That spirit of depression is coming off you tonight. That spirit of this won't happen. This can never be done. This, I will never be of use. This will never amount to anything. Nobody in my family ever did this, but you're going to be the first to graduate. Nobody in your family ever became a millionaire, but you're going to be the first one. The generational curse over your life is broken. That spirit of poverty right now, I come against it. I come against it. You Tonight, Keegan, you are free. You are free. God said right now, even God said right now, you are the benefactor for your family. God said tonight, entrepreneurship entrepreneurship he said even in the next six months he said i want you to go back to the drawing board i want you to go back to the drawing board and begin to write as you write the vision god said it's not just gonna stay on on paper but god said i'm getting ready to take you to another level right now lashun lashun janita in the name of jesus god said right now so that spirit, that generational curse over your life is broken. I see there's a, this, this dark cloud being removed over your life. And God said, even tonight, possibility, promise, purpose, potentiality, that's becoming kinetic, is being released. It's being released, Taylor. It's being released, Cynthia. It's being released, Delia. It's being released, Laurent. It's being released. Open doors and opportunities, angel. It, this is your season. This is your season. Destiny to walk in your destiny. Right now, you ought, you ought to just believe it. You ought to just begin to claim it. You ought to begin to claim it. God is taking you to places you've never been to do things you've never done. Hear me. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I don't know who I'm. God is taking you to places you've never been to do things you've never done. Here it is, new, new lease on life, new opportunities. It, it, it is yours right now. And, and here it is, I don't care if folks are sick about your success. Let folks hate on your happiness. Let folks envy your elevation. But because there's a leader inside of you, because there's, there's greatness that's on the inside of you because greater is he that is within me. I can win from within. You got to listen, just make them sick and keep on succeeding. Let them hate and, and let the love you show keep you happy. Kill them with kindness. Let them envy you. Why? Because your haters are your elevators. You hear me? Your, your haters are your escalators and you going all the way to the top. Your, your enemies fail to realize that if they could celebrate instead of hate, then here it is, maybe they'd be blessed to participate. And, and, and this is why, this is why you can't be jealous in this season. You hear me? Jealousy is going to kill anything that was coming in your direction. Listen, you can't be jealous because you don't own anything. Only people who are jealous can own anything. And last time I checked, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Th them and they, they being you, they being me. So here it is. You don't own anything. It's not, you, it, you don't own everything you have is loaned. Yeah, let me say it again. Well, I got, I, I own a car, I own a house. No, you, it, anything you got is God given. You don't own, it's on loan. If you owned it, you could take it out of here. No need of you being jealous of that man. No need of you being jealous of that woman. Why? Because you don't own them. I just freed somebody tonight. I just freed somebody tonight. You, you can stop being jealous. You can stop being envious, trying to have what somebody else has. What you don't need, listen, you don't need to be jealous, hear me, you need to be zealous. <laughs> right? You need to be zealous 
about the purpose. What, what does that mean when I'm zealous? When I got a zeal, that means I got a fire. I got a passion that's on the inside of me. I got to be passionate about my purpose. Here it is. I'm not hating on you. Becky, I'm not hating on you. Bridget, I'm not hating on you. John, I'm not hating on you. Nat, uh, Nat, I'm not hating on you. Dora, the Explorer, I'm not hating on you. At least I'm not hating on you. Hear me. I I'm celebrating God with you. Why? Because if God is blessing my neighbor, that means he's in my neighborhood. <laughs> right? And I don't know about you, but I get happy when I see the mailman. Because I know that if the mailman or the male woman is bringing mail, they don't come to my address after a while. It may not be today, but it will be on a given day. Just know that what God has for you, I, I speak a delivery over your life. De listen, the, the, the delivery may not be tangible, but the delivery is just going to be supernatural. A supernatural delivery of spiritual gifts. Here, you're going to prophesy on a greater level. You're going to have word of knowledge and word of wisdom. God is, I, I just see them right now. Angels of heaven are being disseminated going from your house to the next house and dropping off spiritual gifts, wisdom, fruit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, goodness, meekness, temperance against such there is God is just dropping off spiritual gifts right now. You're going to be able to pray in an unknown tongue. God is changing your language. Hear me. He's, he's changing your language tonight because he needs you to pray on another level. The higher the level, the greater the attack from the devil. And God is saying tonight, the reason you've been attacked because sometimes the anointing on your life attracts attacks. But he, but he said, I prayed for you that your faith fell not because he said, I'm doing a, in the midst of COVID-19, hear me, here, here's, here's the vaccine. <laughs> Here, here's the spiritual vaccine for COVID-19 is Isaiah 43 and 19. I, I don't know, but you got, just got flipped to, with your thumb. Uh, some of y'all more digital than you are uh, touching the leaves on the scripture. But 43 and 19 of Isaiah, behold, I will do a new thing. I just some, want somebody just to type new. I just want you to type new right now. God said, I'm doing new now. New right now. New. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Right? God, God's going to bless you so good. You're going to wonder where in the world is this coming from? I, I, I don't know where it's coming. I'm going to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God said, you've been wandering in the wilderness long enough. But here it is. I'm creating rivers. Listen, I, I want somebody to get this revelation tonight. You've been praying and asking God for multiple streams of income. God said you believe in too low. You ain't going to have streams, rivers. Out of your belly shall flow streams of living water, right? No, 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 Woo! no. Out of your belly shall flow rivers Man, of on. living water. I speak rivers of increase right now. Woo! I speak rivers I of see. income. I, I speak rivers of contracts right now, Tracy. I speak rivers of increase and sustainability, uh, Elizabeth. I speak rivers over your life, bubbling, flowing, never getting stale, Emmanuela. Emmanuel, God with us. He said he's with you wherever you go. He said he's with you when you go and look for that modeling contract. He said he's with you when you now want that promotion. God said rivers of increase rivers of sustainability, rivers of not just to survive, but you got rivers to thrive tonight. Rivers to thrive tonight, whatever the river is. I just want you just to call Amen. it out in chat. I Come on, rivers, 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 rivers. It's flowing, it's, 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 it's continually increasing. And the thing is rivers replenish. Streams don't always do, oceans don't always do that, but rivers replenish. Right. Based upon the river, based upon what I'm creating, what I'm creating is going to create. Ah, God, hear, hear me tonight. 
what you're creating is going to create for something else. What you're creating is going to create for the, another, for the next level. You thought you were just supposed to write the book, but the book was the gateway for the business. You thought you were just supposed to go into ministry, but ministry is going to take you into teaching. You thought you were just supposed to be a musician, but no, you're not just going to be a musician. You're going to start your own label. What I'm birthing Amen. is going to birth itself. You hear me, somebody tonight. You, you, you're pregnant with purpose, possibility, and potential. Tonight is your night to, deni to, to deliver. Tonight is your night to deliver. I speak over your life, hear me, in the next three months. Hear me, I, I speak in the next three months, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. I speak in the next three months, by the time you hit September, by the time you hit the ninth month, what you've been believing God for is going to be birthed in, in the next three months. I receive. In the next three months, God, God I said, receive. God said, I give receive. me 90 days. I receive, I receive. God said, try me and see if I will not open up the windows it. of heaven. Mm. God I said, put me to the test. Come on, I, I, he said, fast and pray and get into my work. In the next three months, that not that number nine is a number of birthing. Listen, you you going through the travail right now. You feeling the contractions. You're feeling the distractions. You're feeling uh, just the the instability in your system right now. But God said it's all working together for your good. You you feeling the discomfort and the uneasiness, and it is just not feeling good. But hear me, it's working together for your good because in the next three months. What you've been working on, what you've been carrying is getting ready to be released. Come on, I just need somebody just to type tonight. Type release. Type release tonight. Type release. Type release. It's, it's getting ready to be released. And, and here it is. You've got to have eagle eye vision. Because even in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, as we talked about 43 and 19, the cure for COVID-19 spiritually, uh, the book of Isaiah says, you're going to mount up on wings as eagles. Shall not run. You, you're going to run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Didn't say like a chicken. Didn't say like a pigeon. Didn't say like a blue jay. Didn't say like a robin. Didn't say like a goose. Let that thing loose. But like an eagle. Why? Because eagles are a unique species. And you got to understand how unique you are. Not only is your, your fingerprint different from any other uh, person on the planet. Not even twins have the same fingerprint. If we were to scan your eyes, your eyes wouldn't be like anybody else's on the planet. You are distinct and distinguished. You are unique. You are chosen and created for such a time as this. With that uniqueness speaks to your gift. Your gift makes room for you and brings you before great men. The, the eagle is so unique that, hear me, when it spreads its wings, Thank you for the scripture, Isaiah 40, verse 31. It, when it spreads its wings, it measures itself. If you were to measure it, it's nine feet from tip to tip. Hear me. Why, why does the Bible talk about an eagle? Because eagles have more than just sight, but they have insight. Am, am I boring y'all tonight? Oh. Am I boring y'all no, tonight? Sir. No, no, sir. Amen. sir. Can good. we take it to this another level? Good. Eagles have more than just sight. Eagles have insight. Hear me. Eagles have vision. What they say is the eagles actually have a third eye. Third eye. I talk about this in my book, 2020 Vision. And, and here it is. They have what they call a nictitating eyelid to where when they close, they, when their eyes are open, there's the <laughs> Desiree, you my favorite girl in the world. <laughs> when they, here it is. When their eyes are open, they can still close it. That's crazy, isn't it? 
they can keep their eyes open and close it at the same time. And when they close that eyelid, which is a see-through lens, it's watching it. Hear me. God said, God said, when you begin to open up your spirit to me, there's certain things I'm going to close. Hear me. Certain things I'm going to close so that I can watch you with newness. When you begin to open up your spirit to me, you're going to close some doors on some things and some people that have no business being in your life who are pulling you away from your destiny, not pushing you into it. But here it is. I say, even though even though the eye is open, it's still closed because it can still see because it's being washed. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I got to say, like David, create in me a clean heart and renew your right spirit in me. I need you to wash me of the stinking thinking. I need you to wash me of the pain of abuse. I need you to wash me of that molestation and that rape and that assault and that negativity and that father not being in my life. When I got a heavenly father and the relationship that was not right with parents, this, that, and the other, to where now you attract not what you want, you attract who you are. Hear me. God said, I'm cleaning it up. I'm cleaning up your house. Get your house in order. Get, get your house in order. Sight is of the eyes, but vision is of the heart. Vision is of the spirit. Eagles, they live on another level. And that's what you got to do. You got to be like the eagle that lives on another level, that thinks on another level, that communicates on another level. Hear me. You will only go to the level of your language. Hear me. Hear me. Certain doors you can't get in because you don't you don't have the language that opens those doors. Right. For, for you to graduate to another level from elementary to middle school to high school to college, you got to learn a certain level of language so that you can graduate. You will only rise to the level of your language. I, I got to know the deep things of God. I got to know the secret thing so that I can communicate with him on another level. So I know what to ask for that is not below God, but is right where he wants me to be. Hear me, when an eagle spreads its wings, it's, it stands different than every other bird. Do you know why an eagle is so unique d d despite every other bird? Simply because of this, whenever there's a storm that arises, whenever there's a storm that ensues, what does every bird do? It flies away from it. I ain't got no business being in this. My wings can't handle it. I I'm done with this. This ain't my fight. I'll see y'all when I see you. Peace and I'm out. What does an eagle do? Hear me, an eagle gets happy when a storm takes place. I I'll be right back, y'all. Let me go shout. Let me go shout. An, an, e an eagle gets happy Amen. when a storm Amen. takes place. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Why does an eagle get happy when a storm takes place? Because an eagle knows this, that when there's a storm, I'm getting ready to go to another level. Mm. I, I, I wish somebody would just begin to praise God Amen. For the storm Amen. that that woo, what, what's so crazy? Can you just can you just be a crazy praiser and do something crazy and begin to praise God for the storm? I know such and such is sick, but I'm going I'm 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 praising God. Listen, listen, when Lazarus died, Jesus said, Lazarus is dead and I'm glad. That's how are you going to be glad when you got a friend of the family that died and you're going to take two days to come and see about the brother who's sick, matter of fact, who died, Jesus said that I'm happy because guess what? I'm getting ready to show you that I'm the resurrection and the life. You ought to get happy when a storm takes place because all of us are either in a storm, we're getting ready to go into a storm, or we're coming out of a storm. But you ought to praise God in the midst of the storm because you're going to be like the eagle that don't run from it, that don't fly from it, but the eagle soars into it. Every other bird flies. And the problem is they ain't getting off the ground. You've got to get out of the chicken coop for people who just cluck and gossip and flap and say what they about to do and don't do anything. But an eagle uses the storm to go higher. Hear me, all the hurt they sent you, it helped you to go higher. It helped yeah. you to go higher because the eagle flies into the storm 
and uses it to go to another level. Listen, I, I, can I bring Meek Mill in tonight? Uh, because it said, uh, what, what only the meek shall see him, right? What is it? What does it say? Uh, it's levels to this. Amen. Which don't mean I'm Come weak. On. Meekness means I got strength that I have subdued. I can hurt you. You can catch these hands, but I'm going to let you have these praying hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the kingdom, but I still know I'm from the east side of the kingdom. It's, it's, let me let, let me let me give you these three things. Let me give you these three things th that eagles do that distinguishes them from from any and every other species. Eagles fly at high altitudes. Number one, no other bird goes to the heights of an eagle. No other bird puts its nest in the mountains. You don't see an eagle put his nest in a tree. It's too low. And hear me, the problem is you're an eagle trying to have disagreements with ants. The problem is God has made your neck like a giraffe, but you still trying to deal with turtle type folks. Where they do that at? Deep. We not the same. You the, the, the problem is you're trying to now redress people who you graduated from. Hmm? You talking about you want to go deeper in God, but are you willing to go higher in God? Right? Deep calleth unto deep. I don't, I don't owe you any redress for what God told me to do. Right? If you're an eagle, start hanging with eagles. I, I'm grateful that Lifeline TNT is, is the eagle headquarters. <laughs> I'm grateful for Prophet Esther and Tarver, who understands that she's got to put her nest in the mountains. That's why she'll have a that's why she'll have a summit. Mountains. She'll have a summit at the summit. I didn't get that. The top, the peak of a mountain is the summit. You you ought to be grateful for her. Prophet Esther and Tarver who thinks on another level because eagles number two have strong vision. And at this time you need. 3D vision, the, the lens to be a dreamer, the lens of dignity, the lens to be distinct and distinguished. Thirdly now, eagles soar above their situation. As I said before, listen, you gotta not see money as the goal. It's only a byproduct of reaching the goal. You, you gotta get to that level to where you begin to think and expand your mind to the next level and in the next dimension. Listen, I'm coming around the mountain, here I come. Uh, I'm, I'm almost out of time, but I'm not out of truth. But you gotta understand this, uh, that this is your time to shoot for that goal that you have. Hear me, if you missed it before, I want you to grab another bow and an arrow. I, I, I want you to grab another bow and an arrow and I want you to shoot again. What, what, why do I say that? Because if you, if you read 2 Kings chapter 13, verse 14, 2 Kings chapter 13, verse 14 through 17, not too many people teach or even preach on this, but I want you to get this insight and this information. 2 Kings chapter 13, uh, verse 14 through 17. And it talks about uh, Elisha who was sick he had fallen sick of an illness, of a disease, and he was getting ready to die. And he talks to Joash, as you see it here, the king of Israel. And then Joash is weeping over Elisha. And Elisha says this, take unto you bow and arrows. And in verse 16, he said to the king of Israel, put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, shoot, and he shot. And, and here it is, right there we see it, one generation giving commendation to the previous generation. Isn't it interesting? The old generation is dying, we're now left with a new generation. We're literally seeing a Moses to Joshua. Is it that the giants are dying and we're being left with midgets? Is, is that what's, what's happening to where 
so many times we, we don't see the respect that is given to the next generation. Listen, if you're going to lead, you got to follow in the steps of a leader. Every great leader, hear me, is a greater follower. Don't tell me to, listen, if you, if you walk in, don't call yourself a leader if you walk in and ain't nobody behind you. Right? Leaders don't, listen, uh, a know-it-all knows nothing at all. Leaders are apt to learn. Leaders are apt to study. Study. Show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not being ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Right? And so we see Elisha who was mentored. Elisha's in the place of leader, but he became a follower of Elijah. Now Elisha left after Elijah gave him his raiment in a chariot, descending, uh, ascending up to heaven as the raiment descended. Now toward his latter years, he, he takes on the role of leading a king as the king is leading. But hear me this, you will always miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And as, and as I get ready to leave you tonight, God is saying, shoot again. I just want somebody just to type, take a shot. It, listen, any NBA will, player will tell you, even though you miss a shot, you keep shooting. I can't make what I'm missing. I can't make what I fail to even take a shot at. Some things you can't aim at until you got the right hands guiding your hand. Look at the scripture. If you, if you saw it, you don't have to bring it up. But if you look at the scripture, Elisha's hands are guiding the king's hand. I, I, I'm so grateful that prophetess Tara and Tarva's hands are helping to guide your hand. She's been there, done that, got a t-shirt, prayed in the spirit for it, and she can believe God on your behalf. She can intercede on your behalf. She can give you direction and guidance for where to go to where you begin to take it in your hand and understand that this is a season, here it is, of an open heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Everybody's hands ought to be lifted tonight. If it's, if it's a season of an open heaven, you need, you need to be lifting up your hands because when the praises go up, the blessings are coming down. And I don't know about you, I'm not waiting for 2022 for my blessing. There's still enough time left in 2021 for this to still be the best year of your life. There's still enough time left in 2021 for you to get what God has for you. Stop talking yourself out of your dream. Stop talking yourself out of your destiny. Stop talking yourself out of your vision. Stop talking yourself out of your next level. Stop it and shoot for it. Now hear me, why did he tell him to grab an arrow? because an arrow is significant of direction. Hear me, the most dangerous place to be is with someone who doesn't know where they're going. If you don't know what you want, someone's gonna decide what you get and generally it's gonna be what you don't want, but how do you know what you don't want if you don't know what you do want? Are you confused yet? Well, so is the person who doesn't know what they don't want, much less what they do want. A double-minded man or woman is unstable in all of their ways. And I gotta be an arrow in the hand of God. He said, put your hand upon the bow. Whatever you put your hand to in this season is gonna prosper. Somebody just type prosperity. Amen. Somebody just type prosper right now. Whatever I put my hand to in this season is gonna prosper. This season, God is about to bless the work of your hands. Amen, I receive. This season, but here it is. You got to shoot for it. I receive. Amen. You shoot by writing the book. You shoot by opening the business. Yes. You shoot by, by applying for the grant. You shoot by praying, not oh, just on your I... knees, but praying with your feet. Frederick Douglass said, I got more done when I got off my knees and began to pray with my feet. While I'm praying, I'm walking by faith. Come on. And he said, you shall smite 
You shall smite the enemy. You, you're going to smite every situation that caused you to suffer. You're going to destroy Amen, every received. demonic attack that was over your life. You are going to smite it in the name of Jesus. Every uh, negative dream that you've had, every nightmare is being vanquished tonight. God is saying uh, everything that tried to pull you back. God said, I'm going to use it as motivation. I'm going to use it to send you forward. And the thing what I love about a bow and an arrow, here it is. An arrow moves you forward, but when you pull the bow, everybody just act like you're getting ready to be an archer tonight. When you pull the bow, you got to understand this. Sometimes life pulls you backward. Uh, and when life pulls you backward, the enemy thinks it's over. But here it is. The bow that is pulled, the arrow goes farther than where the bow is pulled. So somebody going to get it tonight. God is using the force of what the enemy has placed on you to propel you forward. The more you pull me back, the farther that I can go. The more you talk about me, the farther God is launching me. Come Depression on. pulled me back. Cancer pulled me back you in, in 1998. But I'm 21 years as a cancer survivor in 2021. When the enemy tried to pull me back, God used it to take me forward to find the can in cancer. Sickness tried to pull you back. Divorce tried to pull you back. Heartbreak and heart attack. And heartache tried to pull you back. Financial instability tried to pull you back. The yoke of the enemy tried to pull you back. But God said, when you release, that's when I'm going to release you. The enemy pulled me back, but God. Why? Because he said, he maketh my hands to war. Get something in your hand tonight. Get a blessing in your hand tonight. Get a seed in your hand tonight. Get a book in your hand tonight. Get your vision in your hand tonight and begin to say, I got my bow. I got my arrow. Whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. I know I got 21. I'm, let me prophesy to 21 people in 2021 that this is still your year of eye-opening miracles. I declare eye-opening miracles I over my life. I, I declare receive, generational, amen. not curses, I but generational it. blessings. Generational I blessings receive. of what prophetess Taryn Tarver has instructed you to do. Generational blessings. You're not just getting ready to do it. You getting ready to do what no generation before you. You getting ready to do what no family member has ever done before. You getting ready to go where no one has ever gone before. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered to the hearts of man what God has prepared for them that love him. Come on, shoot for it tonight. Shoot for a praise. When you can you can shoot for it when you can win from within. I can win from within tonight. And because I can win from within, I can shoot for my blessing. I can shoot for my overflow. I can shoot for my next level. Amen. I can shoot for my blessing. Don't lose your mind over the job you lost because you're going to need your mind for the business that you're going to open. Don't lose your mind over the Pinto car that you lost because you're going to need your mind for the Porsche that's coming. Don't lose your mind over the woman who didn't want you because you're going to need your mind for the one who adores you. Don't lose your mind over the wrong man who left because you're going to need your mind for the right one who's coming. Don't lose your mind over a divorce because you're going to need your mind to prepare for the right marriage. If it's not true, if it's not honest, if it's not just, if it's not pure, if it's not lovely, if it's not of a good report, I don't want to think about it. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just lay hands on your mind tonight and say, I'm winning from within. I'm winning on a new level. I'm winning on an open door. I'm winning with greatness. Come on, I speak life into your mind tonight. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of the Lord. I come against every Amen, spirit of depression. You will not have to take prescription medicine just so that you can get a good night's sleep at night. You will not have to smoke or drink yourself uh, into a, a place to where now you're discombobulated. I come against it right now. Every yoke of the enemy, every toxic traumatic experience, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I speak triumph. I speak liberty. 
I speak next level. I speak God ideas. I speak new release over your life right now. Hillary, the yoke is broken over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Deja, right now, you're walking into a new lease on life. Bianca, this is your time for breakthrough. Keisha, this is your time that you come into the kingdom for such a time as this right now. Bridget, right now, you won't be stuck on where you are. You're going to the next level. Right now, in the name of Jesus, India, you're coming out. Tracy, you're coming out with a new level, with a new lease on life. This is your time to win from within. Try it again. Shoot for it again. Believe for it again. Hope for it again. Endure for it again. Believe, for, pray for it again. Intercede for it again. Seek God for it again. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. This is your coming out party. They that sow in on. tears shall reap in joy. Hear me, your tears are watering the seed for your harvest. And God said, if you can just speak tonight, I'm gonna fill your mouth. I'm gonna give you a new language for another level. I'm Hallelujah. gonna give you a new uh, prayer language. I'm gonna give you a new zest in your life. I'm gonna give you something that the world didn't give because the world can't take away. I'm giving you another level of joy. I'm releasing another level of peace right now. Every spirit, every yoke of bondage, every demonic force, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. And God said, I'm sending ministering angels right now. Somebody's, somebody's feeling a heat sensation in their hands. Come on, just lay hands on your chest. Lay hands even right now on your abdomen. God said, I'm healing you. God, God said, lay hands on yourself. That knee pain right now is being dissolved. Uh, that that issue in your hip and in your back right now. God said, I'm I'm straightening it up. Uh, uh, sickle cell anemia, uh, that 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 curvature that's in your spine. God said, right now, I'm aligning you. You won't walk bent over. You won't walk humped back. You won't limp. Now you're getting ready to leap into your destiny. Now you're getting ready to move into the place of where it is that I've called you for such a time as this. He said, I'm releasing destiny. I'm releasing kingdom mindset, kingdom assignment, kingdom principle, kingdom living, kingdom loving. God said, I'm doing it. He said, I'm doing it. And he said, this blessing that you're getting ready to walk into is going to bless the generations to come, hear me, for the next five generations. Hear me, five is the number of grace. Woo! God said, because of the favor on your life, the last five generations had a curse, but the next five are gonna have a blessing. Hallelujah. They, they're gonna hang your picture up because a grandma, great, 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 great grandma, great, 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 great grandfather who decided to break the curse on June 16th of 2021. I receive it. This, this is your new level tonight this is your opportunity this is your open door of where god to bless you of where god is doing it for such a time as this hear me everything i said tonight was not what i prepared god took me on a different path uh, because I decided to be an instrument Amen. in the hand of God. And I hope it sounded like harmony and not a cacophony. Hear me tonight. The, the mandate that is on our life, whenever there is a visitation from God, whenever there is a visitation, God is visiting you right now in your home, in your bedroom, wherever you may be, in your living room. Whenever there's a visitation of God from God, the mandate is to build an altar. When, when Jacob had a visitation from God, he built an altar. David said, what should I give, render unto God for all of his benefits? He couldn't think of anything because what do I have that God doesn't own? What do I have that he hasn't given me? And so, David couldn't think of anything to give. So he said, I will take 
The only thing to give God, hear me, is to take. <laughs> Come on. The only thing we can give God is to take. We can't give him anything that he doesn't have. And I would tonight that you would, you would take a seed. And I know you say, well, what, it, what, what should I take? Tonight, I want, you to, I want you to take a seed. And here it is. I want you to name your seed. Maybe somebody's going to name your seed tonight healing. Maybe somebody tonight, you're going to name your seed winning. Maybe some, somebody tonight, you're going to name uh, your seed uh, shoot again. Right? I, I, I want you to name your seed tonight for the next level of where it is that you're going. And, and this is what I want you to do tonight because as I spoke over your life, as I spoke over your life, the next three months, in the next three months, God is gonna do it to where September is, a, is hear me. Do you remember in September, right? You're gonna feel the earth, wind and the fire. <laughs> of uh, <laughs> God's on, anointing God's all brothers. over your life. Amen. Uh, in the next three months, by, by yeah. September, it's going to be birthed. It's going to happen. And so tonight, I want you to get, I want you to get a $99 seed in your hand tonight. I want you to sow a seed of $99. I'm believing uh, a double portion in the ninth month. Hear me. I want you to get $99 in your hand. Somebody said, you know what? I'm believing for a triple portion. I want you to sow $999 tonight. I, I want you to get as close to that seed as you possibly can uh, for $99 in the ninth month. I'm believing for double, double in the ninth month. I'm believing. I, 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 this is my night to win from within. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my mindset to the next level. I'm going to shoot for it. Every generational curse is broken. I've just stepped over from generational curse to generational blessing. I'm going to activate the blessing that God has over my life as prophetess Taryn Tarver talks about sowing and reaping the laws of reciprocity, planting to reap a harvest. Stop trying to, to reap where you did not sow. Stop trying to reap where you did not plant. Why go back and look for the harvest in the same place where you didn't plant the seed? Mm -hmm. why, why, would a, why would a farmer look for an apple tree if he didn't plant an apple seed? It only grows where you sow, and this is good ground. Come on, if you believe tonight this was a good word, I just want you just to type good word. If, if, it was, if this was a good word, if, if you felt this was straight from the thr throne of God, if you felt that this ministered to your spirit tonight, I, I want you just to type good word. And, and as it is a good word, I want you to give God a good seed. Come on, uh, listen. We, I don't know if George Washington is saved, but we've given a hint. We've go, shown up. Give. We seem like we bought his salvation. I just, and you can't buy salvation at all. But we've given enough George Washington dollar bills to where it seems as if he should have came to Christ because it seems as if we brought him to the altar by ourselves. I want you to put in tonight a ninety nine dollar seed because you're believing for double in the ninth month. I want you to get as close as well. I'm trying to get as close to that seed. I want you to just, I want, I want you to sow uh, $98.99. I, I want you to get as close to that seed uh, as you possibly can tonight, uh, that $99 seed. Uh, some of you as, as, as couples, you're married. Both of you can sow uh, 99 times two. I'm more English than math. Y'all do the math on that one. But both of y'all can sow a $99 seed, right? Uh, a sister who's, who's believing God for your next level uh, in your relationships, in your purpose, in, in preparation for your spouse in your house. So that name Amen. is that some, some brother who's been in a place of singleness and, and saying, God, I need you to move. 
I need you to move in my life. I, I'm, I, I'm ready for my spouse. I'm ready for my wife. I'm, I, I want to be in that place of purpose. I want more of you, God. I'm believing that September is going to be a month to remember. I, I want you to sow for where you're going. Come on, hear me. Sow for where you believe you will go. Hear me. Hear me tonight. I hear God saying, you're sowing a futuristic seed. <laughs> See, see, generally when we sow a seed, it's for this present moment. But God said, you're sowing a seed into your future. And this is good ground. And you can check it uh, in, in, in the three months because this is going to uh, hasten you into your future. Do, do we have the, uh, do you need to bring up the screen, Desiree, or? Uh, uh, yes, Dr. Little... Connor, it's ready. Thank you. Okay, sir. go ahead. Go ahead, please. is the one. Um, listen tonight, as you have sold your, your $99 seed, um, somebody just type, if you've sold tonight, I just want you to just type, I receive. 
Just type that tonight. I receive. I want you to get on your mind what you receive tonight, three months from now, and everything in between. It's going to be delivered. God is going to do it exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask uh, or think. Listen, thank you all for the opportunity to share tonight. I hope it was a rich, relevant, uh, revelatory word uh, from God that, that was a blessing to you. Uh, if you don't have it all, uh, my book, Relationship Rules, you playing yourself. <laughs> Make sure that you get it. Uh, there's a, an academy that's been birthed out of it. Uh, if you want to grow in the area of relationships at all, you want to grow in the area of love, leadership, and leveraging your purpose, join our academy, Um, And of course, you can get the book, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iTunes, Audible, and many of you have already supported. So I'm definitely appreciative of you all. And we're, we're, we're just grateful. Uh, for Prophetess Taryn Tarver, who always continues to innovate, who always continues to have fresh revelation and ideas. Come on, celebrate God for her. Celebrate God for her. Amen. Uh, when she goes back and watches it. Amen. We, let, we, want her to not see, yeah. we want her to not see hate. We want her to see love. Yes, Don't hate, celebrate. Amen. Don't hate, congratulate. Amen. Don't amen. hate, elevate. Amen. Don't hate, appreciate who God has given Absolutely. Her. And so we're grateful for you. I uh, love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And we're going to uh, toss it back over to Desiree. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Connor. If you, if I don't know if you wanted and, to do it. And, and matter of fact, let me pray over the seed. Did I do okay. that? Okay, awesome. Let me do, let me do that. Let me pray over the seed. Kind of gracious father, we thank you for all of those who have sown tonight. God, it is only by your work that you can multiply the gifts and the seeds tonight. And so in the name of Jesus, prosper. Every person who has sown tonight, they sown on good ground, multiply their harvest, bring it back to them, God, in health, in, in healing and wholeness and prosperity, in, in a rich level of thinking, God. Bring it back to them in confidence to Step out on your wheel and do what it is that you call them to do. We thank you for a greater level of obedience. We thank you for a greater level of strength. We thank you that children are blessed. Spouses and marriages are saved, healed, delivered, and set free. We thank you, God, even for the person who gave like the widow with the might, who gave all that they had. God, we thank you for, for doing it quickly, even in the next, even in the next 10 to 24 hours, God. Show up and show out. Somebody said they can't wait till September. God, show up and show out. Even in the next 10 to 24 hours, God, do it for your name's sake. And we believe you. We thank you. We receive it. And we're glad to be cheerful givers in your house tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So thank you so much, Dr. Connor. We appreciate you. We appreciate your time. Um, I don't know if you wanted to do maybe one or two questions. If not, we'll hmm. definitely let you go for the night. Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. If anybody, I'm, has I'm already, questions. I'm already out there on the ocean. I might as well keep going. <laughs> yes, you are. You are. You walking on the water right now. <laughs> um, so if you have a question, go ahead and put your hand up, and we'll take only a couple, um, and then we'll go ahead and, and let Dr. Connor go. We appreciate his time. We honor his time. Uh, if there's any questions, please put your hand up. I see Chanel has a question. So we'll probably take one more. Uh, so make sure you put your hand up because after that, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're a ministry of excellence. So um, so Chanel, we'll go ahead and go ahead. And, okay, so Chanel and Hillary, we'll do those two questions. Um, so go ahead and come off mute, Chanel. Uh, first of all, good evening. Tonight was amazing. I honor you both. Thank you so much for this. this I can't even put into words how good this was. Um, so my question for you, because your mindset is like touched by God in terms of just your outlook. So like, what can we do to embody that same mindset of knowing that we know without being double-minded that God is going to deliver everything, the, the airplane, the mansion, you know, our peace, 
my husband, all of the above, because he can do it exceedingly and abundantly and stop wavering so much if possible. That's, that's so good. As you mentioned, double-minded man or woman st- unstable in all their ways. Uh, one thing is, is, is that you have to do is you have to continue because thoughts of doubt are going to creep into your mind. And nobody has a, uh, a steel curtain mindset. Uh, thoughts of doubt are going to creep into your mind, but you got to do like scripture says, casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Uh, sometimes you got to talk to yourself and answer to. <laughs> you know, they told you nothing wrong with talking to yourself as long as you don't answer. Now, I want you to do what they said don't do, right? I want you to break the rules on that because by doing that, that means you have to affirm yourself. You got to tell yourself what God says about you. Okay, this situation has come up. I, I got to remind myself. I got to affirm myself in God. I got to remind myself based upon uh, my rubric of rules or based upon my goals. And you got to revisit those. And that's why it's important for you to write your vision uh, because. Uh, when you write your vision, now it gives you the wherewithal to bring it to fruition. And sometimes the vision is so great that you say, you know what, if, if, if God can't do this through me, it can't be done. Right. That's why it's about taking your mindset to the next level. Uh, to, if your dreams are affordable, you're not, you're not dreaming big enough. Uh, being, being able to remind yourself where you in, intend on going, reminding yourself that you're not what you were. You're free for your future. You're not chained to your past. And so uh, continually refreshing and rehashing, all of that now recalibrates your thinking. Sometimes we gotta, we gotta unlearn to relearn. Hear me? Let, me, let me say it again. Sometimes we gotta unlearn to relearn. S- you know, everybody's talking about, I want to go back to normal. I don't. Normal is behind us. The best is ahead of us. Normal was never working. I don't need to go back to normal thinking. I don't need to go back to a normal mindset. I don't want normalcy. I want ingenuity. Right? And, and when you allow God to stretch your imagination, a mind is, you know, when a mind that is stretched by new ideas never returns to its original dimension. When you allow God to stretch your imagination and you begin to think on another level through the word, through good, through empowering books, through being at seminars, leadership sessions like this one, surrounding yourself with other eagles, you can't help but to grow. Right. And so uh, this is what it is. And in many cases, Lifeline TNT is a, an amalgamation and, and is a uh, really a, a compilation of nothing but accountability partners. Iron sharpening iron. And so just continue to allow God to sharpen your mind and your thinking. Uh, Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, that. You're on, you're on your way to the next level. And you, and you just like tonight, as you're driving a car, just keep your spirit in D. Stay driven from within. Amen. All right. We got All somebody right. else. Yes, Dr. Reggie Connor. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Minister Desiree. Thank you. Blessings, Mama T. I honor you. Thank you so much, Dr. Connor. Um, I wasn't going to say anything, but I just want you to know that this message was definitely for me. Um, I spoke with Mama this morning, and it was literally because I delayed, you know, obeying prophetic instruction. Mm-hmm. And but then she was so graceful as always, and she told me what to do. And so usually I work from my department. I'm a student, but. Today I was speaking with mom, I decided to, I don't know, I felt there to go to my school's library. And coming back from the library, I thought I was going to go to my department, but I didn't go to my department. And I passed by this um, 
I don't know if you could, you could see this, but this is my school's mascot and it's an eagle. And I've been passing mm. here for a very long time. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I decided to take a picture of the, probably not, you definitely cannot see this. I don't know if you can see this. But yes, 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 I see yes. it. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but I passed by this and I just stood beside it and I took a picture and well, your whole message was just a prophetic word to me. And whew, thank you so much. Cause I know this is definitely for me. Mama told me to search deeper and I was going to find my grand that I'm looking for. And so just thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Hear, hear me. God said tonight, just like that ego, he said, I've, I've made you just like that in the spirit. God said, I'm lifting you above the trials that have been trying to bring you down. It's, it's, it's been like this, this, this rope that has been trying to pull you back to what you were. Yes. Back to the demonic attack that was on your life. Yes. Back to the places where you have grown from and that you have uh, not acquiesced to. And God said tonight, he said, what you were connected to that was not like me, what you were connected to that was dividing you from your destiny. God said tonight, that cord is being cut. Amen. God said tonight, I'm giving you that freedom like an eagle. Amen. He said, I... he said my daughter of Zion, just begin to spread your wings. What, what, if, he said, God said tonight, if you can think it, you can begin to go after it. He said, tonight has been cut. That what the enemy meant for evil. Oof, God said, I, I flipped the script. I've turned it around. He said, I'm Amen. increasing your anointing. He said, as you, as you get back into prayer, as you get back into travailing, as you get back into worship, as, he said, there's a Amen. cleansing that is going on in your spirit tonight. And he said, here it is, here it is. I'm hearing him say, people are going to look for you where they left you. Prophesy. Amen. <laughs> but but Prophesy. here it is. Here it is. They looking too low. <laughs> Prophesy. I, I left her in that depression. I left Prophesy. her in that breakup. I left her in that abuse. I left her in that storm. But here you come. <sighs> right over there. Ooh. Ooh. God said, I'm lifting you. And the people who were looking for you in the low place, they're going to now have to look to the hills and understand that it was nothing but God that elevated you. God Amen. says, Daugh daughter of Zion, he said, this is your season of elevation. Amen. You've been through I, the suffering. You've I, been I, silent about it. You, yes. you, you have a quiet demeanor about yourself. But God said, I'm getting ready to, to, to anoint your voice. He said, I'm getting ready to anoint your voice to begin to tell about what I've brought you from. Because there's a testimony on the inside of you. Your winning season. And here it is. The wind of wind is the winning is the wind beneath your wings. Listen, y'all, I, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but just you all you just like eagles tonight. And this is your time to soar. It's time to spread your wings. Hear me. You can't spell wings without wind. The reason you spread your wings, hear me, is because you win. Ah. Amen. Every time I lift my hands, I receive. Amen. I'm not feeling like lifting my hands, but I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. I don't feel good about this situation, but but here it is. Every time I lift my hands, I win. Every time I spread my wings, I win. I, I, I'm more English than mad. I am told you that, but you can't spell wings without W I N. Win from within. Woo! Amen. Amen. Prophesy. Amen. That's good. I, I may not be able to trace you, but God, <laughs> I trust you. Yes. Here it is on the East Coast. I don't know who it is, but the West Coast can join in on this. It's midnight. Is, and at midnight, the chains Woo! came off. 
Amen. Woo! And yes. at midnight, yes. there was a sound, there was a shaking, Amen. there was a Thank rocking. Jesus. Come on, and, and every jealous bands were loose. I, I don't. I think I'm. Do I got a Paul and a Silas in here tonight? Come on, come, come on, on, come on. I used to be yes. Saul, but now I'm Paul. Amen. I, I'm, Amen. I'm too. I'm All too silent. I'm too. I'm too much of Silas to be silent. I, I got something inside of me that is breaking every chain. The yoke of the enemy is destroyed over your life. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Hear me, that word that was for Hillary was for somebody else too. Remember I told you, oh, yes. God is blessing amen. your neighbor. Amen. The word He's always confirms itself. He's, he's in your neighborhood. Amen. So good, doctor. Yep. I'm just waiting on you, Dr. Connor. You can close us out. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I know He's on fire. Like, we love you, Dr. Connor. <laughs> we love you. This is so fire. fire. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. I uh, didn't know if there was another question, uh, but but uh, we're, we're grateful to God tonight. We're grateful. We're grateful. And so... Um, you, you can't come into a prophetic house and not prophesy. I think uh, the gift in y'all activates the gift in me. That's so, right. <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> we got gifts one to each, one to another uh, as the body of Christ. And so uh, God bless you. God bless you all tonight. Uh, God bless you all. Uh, should, we, should we close it out in prayer? Or are there any other questions? I don't see anyone's hand raised, doctor. So we can we can close it out. We can close out in prayer, and then we'll play our closing video. Awesome, awesome. Listen, I just I just want you to stretch your hands to your screen. I just want you to do that. I want you to stretch as, as best as you can both of your hands. If you can't stretch both of your hands, stretch your right hand. Um, and, and I believe. Uh, tonight, you're, you're stretching your hands because God has his hand on you. And that's what you're doing tonight. You're, you're stretching your hand because God has his hand on you. Hear me. Your hands are too small to handle it. You know, you're not going to suffer in silence no more. You're not going to go to bed worrying and crying and complaining. Your hands are too. That's right. You got to stretch your emoji hands. Do that, too. Your, your, your hands are anointed. Your hands are too small to handle it. God, your, God's hands are big enough to deal with it. Hear me. Healing is in your hands tonight. Amen. I, 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 listen, somebody's going to see as, as Prophet Tarver talking about angel dust on your hands, your, the, the, the heat sensation on your hands, just, just the visitation of the Lord. Uh, healing is in your hands. I speak increase right now into your hands. I speak next level ideas. I press financial breakthrough into your hands right now. I press an open door into you, open doors, plural, multiple doors into your hands right now. I press not just streams, but I press rivers of increase in income. I come against every spirit of lack. I press healing. I press joy. I press peace. I press new dimensions. I press new levels. I press greater flow of anointing. I press greater self-esteem and self-confidence right now. I press obedience. I press yes to the will of God. I press purpose. I press promise. I press possibility. I press greater potential in your hands right now. Whatsoever you do, it shall prosper right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for increase. We thank you for my brother and my sister. 
right now, God. We thank you for a release of favor. We thank you that this is their season of eye-opening miracles. We thank you, God, that even in the next 90 days, you show yourself strong. You show yourself mighty right now in the name of Jesus. You show yourself with prophetics, in the prophetic, with miracles, with signs, with wonders, in ministry, right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for an open heaven. We thank you for portals of protection, portals of power being disseminated right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for revelation. We thank you for demonstration by your word right now in Jesus' name. I command your children to be blessed. I command there to be peace in your house with your spouse. I command right now, I declare and decree that you won't be, uh, uh, even though you're alone, you won't be lonely right now in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree depression is not your portion. I declare and decree right now that healing replaces sickness in the name of Jesus, uh, that even in your bloodstream, that even in your pancreas, right now, that even in your heart, that, that every heart murmur, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Every, every pain, every blood issue, every, every place of, of seizures, we come against that right now in the name of Jesus. Every, every place of, of hospitalization, we come against every virus of victimization, every virus of COVID-19, that spirit of death is canceled over your life. You shall not die, but live and declare the works. Every curse is broken, every curse of the enemy. And we release generational blessings right now, generational blessings on every husband, generational blessings on every wife, generational blessings on every future husband and every future wife. You will be a man of might. You will walk as a daughter of destiny right now in the name of Jesus. You're coming out with every gift. Come out with every empowerment. Come out with every book, with every business, with every vision right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare it. We decree it. We believe it. We receive it. We speak it. We begin to speak what we seek until we see what we speak right now in Jesus' name. Now praise him if you know it's already done. Come on, praise him for the miracle. Thank praise you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Father Lord. God. Yeah. Let your oh, will be done, Jesus. Father God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Lord, we give you all the glory and honor. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Fire. All right. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Connor. Blessings. Jesus, take the will. Thank you. It's a new generation. Hold up, wait. What's your name? They be bothered by my way. Talk to God like I'm safe. I remember we got the play. They got fishy like the lady. They got jokes, but we don't play. Huh? They so petty, but we Gucci bring an increase. They upset that my war's already ending. Plus, I'm pretty and I'm always coming in peace. We're in purpose, I can't worry about your envy. Grateful for the souls that you're sending. This was all in 2020, the boring tea was gunning for the devil, never stunning. Paying no mind to the dummies, there's no drama, this is peace. God's been ordering some feet, there's no drama, this is peace. So the wave will never cease. You know, we stay on guard. Everywhere we go, we set the vibe.
come to you properly We take over Monopoly You can hate but you copy And I just smile and stay watching I'm just focused on the higher things Love the Pharisees Cause they're really just admiring All your constant judging must be tiring But I'm staying in phase Like the Bora set ablaze We're on fire, feel the flame We got riches but it's not about the pay There ain't nothing you can do or say That'll ever stop us preaching We gon' glorify his name You know we stay on Hopping up the rain so you know what's up We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do a drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life We don't waste time Just send my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do a drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life Get it bestie, get it bestie Get it bestie, get it bestie Get it, get it Jesus, get it, will. get it, get it, new get it, get it, get it, my bestie, uh, and we already been through the testing, walking in his favor, we've been spiritually investing, looking like we Barbies, we be on the best teams, they been getting honor, we've been with the best kings, you told me you're my husband, but I know you're guessing, <laughs> we still be guilt free, we still be on top, they been praying so hard, but we're never gonna drop, and we ain't new to this, said it all before, we unbothered by your foolishness, how can I feel bad, you hating, you still mad, I've been with Jesus, just enjoying my new pad How could I be bitter, God annoyed in my do rag How could I be cussing, just not caring to do that My bestie has power from God My bestie just blessed the whole squad My bestie just spoke and an angel just shot They tried to curse us and they spirit got rocked They tried to hurt us and our faith had it blocked We say walking in excellence, never worry about a setback You say we can't do it, that ain't God, I can't accept that Walking in a hover, if you don't then take a step back you are not poppin' if you don't have haters They keep on talking, can't hear the naysayers We bringin' answers to all of your prayers Good versus evil, we the demon slayers Left bottom, but we stay on top Work, 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 yeah, the grind don't stop Cross around my neck and it don't come off On a private jet, living life like a boss We don't waste time Just to my bestie on a FaceTime We don't do drama, we don't do strife Praying for the souls in the late night That's a good life We don't waste time 